In this short tutorial, I wanted to introduce a new opportunity for coordinating colors between the Rhino environment and the Power BI environment using the Semantic Toolkit. So you can see in this particular model setup, I have a tower that has a number of different uh, category options uh, for how these elements are being classified. You can see that the tower is being classified um, by hotel, conference, uh, retail and restaurants, so these different floors have different functions, and there's a different color associated to each one. Um, I have a report that is itemizing each of these objects and then producing a set of fields that I can use in Power BI um, with the 3D viewer. But if I were to take the program category and assign it to this category input, Power BI is going to auto-assign a set of colors to our objects, and these are largely going to be driven by the uh, theme settings of your Power BI report. Now, a lot of people, and myself included, would like to see there to be, uh, I guess, color coordination between what you're seeing here um, and what you're seeing uh, as colors in the Rhino environment for these different categories of objects. So what we did is we exposed a new internal property on the Rhino side that will allow us to use a reported color value for the object. Um, and that reported color value can be then used in Power BI to ensure alignment of the colors. So um, if I click on these objects, you can see that um, I am only assigned to this building functions parameter group. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of my surfaces here and I'm going to go to the property group manager and I'm going to assign these to the internal properties. And these internal properties are mostly used um, as a way to report things like area, length, and volume. Recently, we introduced a reporting property for the objects layer, the name, and the color. So I have multiple selected here. You can see that it's highlighting multiple selected. So I'm just going to deselect one and drill down into one of these objects in particular. So here you can see it's getting the area of the surface um, and it's getting the layer name for that surface as well. And it's also reporting the color as a hexadecimal value, uh, which if we go back to Power BI, you can see that our visual in Power BI accepts a color input. And if I hover over it, you can see I can add data fields to this color input. And there, there's even some uh, instructions here that it'll you know, accept uh, common color names as well as hex values for the color. So we're going to use that as a way to coordinate colors between these two things. And so what I'm going to do here is jump back into Rhino. Um, and I have my uh, colors um, reporting through these internal properties. And so I need to do a little bit of an update to my report. Um, and so I'm going to go to the semantic reports and I'm going to edit my itemized Rhino objects. And I'm going to go ahead and add a new field here and I'm going to make sure I'm reporting the color for each object as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save and I'm going to activate my report. And now you can see that we're not only getting the program, but we're also then getting the color of our object here. So I'm going to go ahead and select Excel. I'm going to export this and I'm going to go ahead and save over the itemized Rhino objects there. And yes, I'll want to replace it. And yes, I confirm that. So now that report is updated. So if I jump back over here, um, I can go ahead and choose to refresh my data. And what it should do is uh, find that there is a new field for color now um, using the uh, hexadecimal values. And I'm going to go ahead and take this color field and drop it right into the color override here. And what you should see is that you are now seeing a color match between the uh, Power BI environment and what these colors are representing, um, as well as the uh, Rhino environment. So the Rhino environment colors are matching here. So you can see red, yellow, purple, and blue. Um, and then I jump back over to Power BI and I can see that those colors are all aligned. So hopefully this is a useful tip um, for coordinating colors. Uh, this color entry field in the Rhino visual can be used to um, override the colors of an object with a specific color list. And inside of Rhino, um, the internal property reporting for an object's color as a hexadecimal value can be used uh, in conjunction with that Power BI field. So you can start to really coordinate your colors between these environments.